Yeah. Was there Christian in Mecca? They were in Arabia. I'm buying a question. Were there Christian they, in Mecca? No, yes, they were. Mecca? Yes. You're joking. Because about. they're the ones who kicked Muhammad ah, out. No. If he was another animal, I would say no. But monkey does a lot of things, bro. Okay. Um, well, we monkey can... are very smart, man. But monkeys stone and none another monkey for adultery. <laughs> That, let's just for argument's sake say in the 7th century that was uh, relevant but 2019 that's not relevant anymore but now you're still forcing women two women to be equal to one Islam is makes sense and what why does it make sense Sorry, Tom! It's a miracle. A prophecy is a miracle. No, no, no. Something different. Why? Shaitan, you are. Because, yeah, Egypt. Wait, wait. The Egypt. No, tell me the proof. No, yeah, but I'm saying the pharaohs, the Egypt, you know, his um, helpers, the pharaohs. That's magic. Magic, that's a miracle. But what do you define as a miracle? Huh? What do you define as a miracle? What, a miracle is something that goes, goes against the law of nature. Yeah. So, 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 if you, so, so if you. Yeah, no, no. You believe it's a hallucination. Magic is not a miracle. Yeah, okay. According to the Quran. Wait, wait. So, according to the Bible. According to the dictionary, what magic means? Yeah, according to the Bible. Um, the, the, the helpers of Pharaoh. They put their sticks on the ground and it turns into snakes. No, 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 a, ma a miracle is something that defies nature. So that goes against the nature. Yeah, it, it means defies nature. Exactly. Yeah, defies nature means that it's not nature. nature. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so, so turning so, a stick into a snake is, 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 is defying nature. If it's an if it's an yeah if it's an illusion, Moses. Uh, yeah, so did the pharaohs. No, did not. Um, the pharaohs. Wait, wait, wait. The Moses sticks actually ate the illusion. Exactly. So it's not magic, isn't it? Another trinity. Yeah, they 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 were. So basically, miracle is someone Moses stick was actually became snake and turned back to stick. That's miracle. Because God Almighty can change the nature of a stick. I transfer to an actual snake and probably turn to back to normal. Again. That's but, a miracle. But when a stick is actually changed, yeah, it's a miracle. Yeah, but changing a stick into a snake in the first place is still a miracle. That's a miracle. Yeah. But if it fail, did not do that. It's illusion of the eye. No, no, no. That's in the Quran. In the Bible. Yeah. Okay. It's, I'll show you. But do you believe? Do you believe the miracle of Moses? Yeah. Because I'll tell you the biblical narrative. What happened is Moses went and he did the uh, the ten. Uh, the ten miracles. So what happened is after he first started doing it, the Egyptians were copying it. They did about three or four of what he did of the miracles that he did, and that's why it, this is in the, in the Bible. So the, the Pharaoh. Yeah, I'll show you. Too. So I'm, I'm just giving you. Then I'll show you. Show me. I want the text over here. Kingdom of Satan. I mean, because you're. I only read that because I was talking to someone else, Ahmed Ali, and he thought the same thing. I had to say to him, no. How many said to bring heaven on earth have failed? Find it, I want to come around. Find it. Muhammad said, I'm going to bring. I can find another one. So basically. Um, it starts from here. What, what, what number is that? Um, it's not, oh, King chapter 8. Well, it's, it's King James. It's like King James. King James. King James. Yeah, so this is what I don't know. So what Moses number went is. to Pharaoh. Yeah. I said to them, God, the people go. So get frog, river, no problem. Yeah. Right, no problem. Right, no problem. Where is the thing? Where is the? Yeah. The Lord speaks. The arrow stretched out his hand, and it says, and the magicians did so with their enchantments, enchantments, and brought up frogs upon. They brought up frogs upon the land of Egypt. 
they did? Pharaoh, yeah. So the, the, what they were doing, that's why in the Bible, the Pharaoh was resistant because he was like, Moses can do this, but so can my people. And then gradually in the Bible, what Moses was doing. Let's go back to the sticker. Yeah? Um, the stick, more stick. All right. So it says, uh, and Moses and Aaron did the commandment. Blah, blah, blah. When Pharaoh spake unto you, show a miracle. It says, show a miracle for you. It's then thou, right. it change it. Then that shalt thou say unto Aaron, take thy rod and cast it before the Pharaoh, and it shall become a serpent. And Moses and Aaron went unto Pharaoh. They did so as the Lord had commanded, and Aaron cast down his rod before Pharaoh, for his serpent, servants, and it became a serpent. Then Pharaoh also called the wise men and sorcerers. Now the magicians of Egypt, they also did in like manner with their enchantments. For they cast down every man his rod, and they became serpents. But Aaron's rod swallowed up their rods. And wait, 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 wait. Yeah, so it Aaron, wasn't yeah. Moses, right? So yeah. Moses one sold up the fake one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, but it wasn't an illusion. That's the fake one. No, no, no. I, I agree with you. Yeah, yeah. The Moses one actually snake. Yeah. Sold up the fake one. Well, they agree. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. When it when so there's the fake position once yeah. was completely destroyed. Yeah. By Moses. Yeah, yeah. I mean, agree on that. Yeah, I agree. But that's what I'm saying. Then what happened? What happened afterwards? What do you mean? What happened? And the, the fair magicians? Yeah. Submitted and surrendered to. Not Moses according to the Bible. That's in the Quran. Oh wait, so the so after they submitted, I they didn't submit at all. That's a that's the Quran narrative. Is it? Yeah, yeah, it's very difficult. So they become Muslim after that. No, 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 no. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And believers. So wait, wait, they went back to what? So, so what? Happened, of Moses. Yeah. So what happened in the Bible is that because Pharaoh saw that they could do it, but even though they swallowed, his heart became hardened. Like he was more against the Jews. But this so, is wrong. This is wrong. So, because yeah, because because. The magicians, they saw the miracle found Moses. Found of Moses. Yes. The Moses stick actually become a snake. Yes. And so up the fake one. And there's no more sticks of magician. Yes. What they done? They submit to God. That's and they the believe. Quran. But that's, that's what. But that's so why. They submit and surrender yeah, to God. But, but that's that means they become believers of God and believe in the prophet Moses. Yeah, but that's in the and Quran. Yes, it's corrupted. I'm saying the Bible, the Bible now. is corrupted. That's up to you. But this is corrupted. Not, but this is the most the most miracle behind it. Show, but, show but, but this is the point. But this is the Quran. Okay. This is the Quran. But so the, the, verse um, eighty-seven no, four. No, no, yeah, but I'm just giving you the biblical narrative. That's why people will say the, 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 you're saying the Bible's corrupt. That even though this story came out before the uh, the 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 Quran the, came out changing. Yeah. So why why, why, why would this story be corrupt? It's corrupt. Why? 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 Yeah. why? Because men wrote the Quran. Because man wrote. Man. Let me finish, man. I'm trying to the man. Sorry. Okay. The man who wrote. The Bible. What's who? Huh? What's who? God, God wait, 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 who wrote the Quran? Who wrote the Quran? Huh? He wrote the Quran. Wrote the Quran. Quran was revealed to Muhammad. No, who wrote, wrote it down? Who wrote it? Quran was written down later on. So who in wrote, the lifetime who wrote it down? the verse in Surah Baqarah chapter two in the Quran, yeah. verse seventy nine, it says, "Whom to those who write the books with their own hands." Yes. And the sake of Allah, yes. the person who is the prize from the womb of their hands, okay. written down to those who earn their bath. Do you know what that's talking about? It's referring to those people, no, it's, Christians. No, it's not. The Christians. Do you know what it's talking about? It's, it's, it's referring to the Christians, as themselves, Jews and the Christians, are written books of themselves, and keep, they keep changing it now, again and again. That is a prophecy, even the Quran is confirms it. Even now, the King James Version is 650. Yeah, he so our uh, reason why the that, mouth, that, right, that's talking about stuff. Let me respond. Let me respond. I'll give you a chance. I'll yeah, give you a chance. I'll give you a chance. Yeah, yeah. But you give me one minute. Okay. This Quran proves to us now. So basically this Quran is a living Quran. It's telling us even the Christian today have changed the Bible many times. King James Version, 613, NIV, 1952 or something. 50. They keep changing it. Yeah, 1952. All this has been changed, NIV Version. So we have this questions are continually changing the Bible. So that is, this is the prophecy of fulfillment that Jews, Jews and Christians are doing it now. Right? King James Version and then got NIV. Okay. Okay. So One now let me respond. That verse is talking about things like the Talmud or the Mishnah, which no, Jewish people no, follow. No, no. Wait, wait. Let me speak now. Wait, wait. Because this is this is what this is why when the Quran talks about 
the Jews and Christians, or whatever, have made people like the monks and the scholars, the rabbis, as they go, because they follow the Talmud. And as modern day uh, Jews do, they believe that the Talmud is divinely inspired. The Mishnah is divinely inspired. So Allah is talking about things like this. Now, I will ask you in the Quran 547, it says, and let the people of the gospel judge by what Allah has revealed therein. And what whoever does not judge by what Allah has revealed, then it is those who are defiantly disobedient. So how can Allah tell the people of the book or the Injil to go and look in, in the Injil that is corrupted. It's, 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 so basically, it's going to say the King James version was created by King James. 1611 is Injil. Yeah, I'm, 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 no, no, I'm asking you. I'm asking the Bible. I'm asking the Bible. The Bible that you have. The Bible you have today, King James, 1615. After the after the Quran, but after Jesus, we have 1600. This is in Jesus Christ. But, but we have, to, to Christ, but we have the Codex and Letters from no, the fourth no, century. Yeah, but we're talking. Let's King talk about James. the earliest Bible. No, no. Wait, wait, okay, earliest let's, Bible? for argument's sake, say the King James is corrupted. We have the earliest. But, I'm just saying for argument's sake. Yeah. Yes. I'm not saying that. Well, I'm not saying it is. Head. I'm saying we have the earliest manuscript from well, before that? Islam. What well, language was that? That was in Greek. In Greek. Yeah. Show me Greek Bible. I'm, no, but I'm it's saying Greek to you, Bible. I'm saying the Septuagint. Why you have so, translation? Why is Greek Bible? Listen to the point I'm saying. I'm coming to the point. The earliest manuscript that we have. Yeah, Greek. Yes, that has the Bible. Yeah, yeah Greek, yes. Yeah. Now, Where that was before... I'm going with you. We can go on, online and look at it. Yeah, sure. But obviously, the, I'm just saying to you. Tell me. We have believed about in Jesus. But there were no Christians in Mecca. There weren't Christians in Mecca. In Mecca, no. The, 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 the Nasara. The Mecca, the I'm not saying the Mecca. I'm saying who were the Nasara? Who wait, the wait, wait. Who were the Nasara? Listen, 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 listen. Who were the Nasara? You have to give me proof. Who were the One. Nasara? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Was there Christian in Mecca? They were in Arabia. Yeah. I'm yeah. Christian. But they Christian they, in Mecca. No, yes, they were. No, Mecca? Yes. You're joking. Because about. they're the ones who kicked Muhammad ah, out. No. Yes. No, 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 they, that's, no, no, no. How, why did Muhammad go to Medina? Why did Muhammad go to Medina? Because the Jews and the Christians they were kicked pagans. him out. No. They're oh, pagans. Oh, idol my worship. days. Idol worship. Oh, are you sure? Yes. Okay, let's go, no Christian let's go into anyone. your... He said, he, said, he, said there was, he said there was no Christians in Mecca. No, I can't no. believe you said that. No Christian Mecca. No, isn't... The Nasara. Um, you know, when Muhammad Sallallahu wanted to get uh, correction, I know when Jibreel Islam came to him and asked him no, to No, basically, basically. And then he went to um, the Nasara. Was Egypt, uh, Hadija's um, brother. Warika. Brother. Yeah, but he was a Christian. Wait, 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 wait. Warika was a Christian wait, wait, and wait, told wait, him who Jibreel was. Thank you very much. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Okay. wait. He refuses my head. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So anyway, um, was there an uncorrupted scripture in, 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 Arabia, in Mecca? Did the Christians... Yeah, the Christian Mecca, I'm saying the Christians... So where was... No, no, I'm not saying Mecca was Christian. I'm saying there were Christians in Mecca. So where was Warika? No, Warika passed away. But when, but when he was alive, where did he live? He passed away before he came. Listen to what I'm saying. When were we co Wait, wait, listen to what I'm saying. I'm not going to answer the question. Yeah, but listen to what I'm saying. Wait, wait, listen to what I'm saying. You're misunderstanding. I'm just... Okay. Uh, listen, listen. What yeah, 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 but listen to... Yeah, listen to my question. I'm saying to you, when Warika was alive, forget about everything else. Where did he live? He was in Mecca. He was in Mecca. Mecca. Yes. The, okay. Second wait, wait, question two. Wait, 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 wait. Second question. Wait, wait. No, wait, wait. no, no. You won't make a No, you're, no, you're no, missing no, my no, point. No, no. You engage with me. Engage with me. I'm, I'm saying. Fine to engage with you. Yeah, but listen to what I'm saying. I'm telling you. I'm asking He was. Right. The question is, was he believed the prophet Muhammad? Okay. He believed it. Yeah, that's fine. They become believer. That's fine. Yeah, what's the point? Because you said the scripture was corrupted. Yeah. It so was I'm, corrupted. And then you said there was no Christians in Mecca. There was an Arabic Bible. There was an Arabic Bible. Was there an Arabic Bible? Okay. Okay. No, no, no. Was there an Arabic Bible? Okay. I'll answer that question. No. Was there? Yes, no question. I can continue. Yeah. Was there? Yes, there was. Now let me explain. Because the Hadith says. Warika translated their, their Bible from Hebrew yes. into what? To, to, to Arabic. Exactly. Was it completed? 
So now you're saying he's a complete. So what's it complete? Okay. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Now, wait. Game over. Okay. So you see? Game over. No, because my point. Because see, you couldn't engage with my point. Because my point was this. You said Warika lived in Mecca, yes. Was Wadika the only Christian? Was he the only Christian that lived in Mecca? Yes. You, he's the only Christian? Yes. You haven't improved? He was only what? Oh, okay, improved. Okay. Then. okay. You haven't improved? Yes. Check Mecca with his one. Okay. So. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, let's see. Um, well, the, the Muslim guy already told him that that's not the case, so that's the point. Yeah, exactly. Enjoy recording. Um, it's great, isn't it? Let me, let me, Suleiman, let me ask you a question. Don't, don't, don't answer. It's a good question. We, we're trying to find something out. Why are there Christians in Medina, um, Mecca? In the time of the Prophet? Yeah, like before, when he just started his revelation. No, there wasn't. And Jews? No, no, there was no Jews. So where were the Jews and Christians? Medina. The Jews were in Medina. They were in Medina? Yeah. So you're telling me there was no Jews at all? There were Jews in Medina, yeah. And who else? Who, who was in Mecca? The polytheists. The polytheists. Okay. So now ask me this question. Let's just, let's just go with what he said. And I'll find yeah, I agree. the verse. I said to you. Don't I'll, I'll find the verse. But let's just say they're in Medina. Did the Christians there have the Injil? Because that's, that's, that's not our point. Was. They didn't have anything. They didn't have any scripture. They had Injil. They had Injil. Huh? He said they have it. No, no, in, in Jews were translated. Well, not, in, not in pure huh? form. Not pure form. But, okay, but when Allah when, 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 when when told him to judge by the books he had revealed to them, is Allah going to say to you, judge by the corrupt book? Or I'm saying at the time, did they have something that was revealed from Allah? And it was uncorrupted? They had at the distorted. time, was it distorted or not? So Allah, so Allah was telling... Okay. Ah, okay, it was still distorted. Okay. okay. So, so Allah told us to judge by a distorted So you believe that Allah told them to judge by the corrupt books that they had? Judged by what Allah has revealed to them. Exactly. Which, which, which was in which that is a specific case, and that was in that's in uh, what's the word? Man? It's in accordance with. When it laws. said, okay, in 547 it says, and let the people of the Injil judge by what Allah has revealed therein, and whoever does not judge by what Allah has revealed, then it is those who are defiantly dis disobedient. So was that the Injil that he was telling him to judge by? So then how can he tell him to judge by a corrupt, a corrupt book? Injil, yeah. Okay, do you know how, who Al Razi is? I've heard of him, I've heard of him. Okay. Do you Let know? him take over the conversation. Do you know who, do you know who, do you know who, do you know who Tabari is? Al Tabari. Tabari, yeah. yeah. A scholar. Okay, he says, they alter its meaning, means, that they change it's its direction. He says they they alter its meaning. Is that they change its direction and meaning to another meaning, not literally. Do you understand what he's saying? No, no. Okay, let's go to Ibn Abbas. Can I read it myself? Okay, this is a quote. You can, you can film him, that guy. Yeah, this is a quote from Ibn Abbas. And it's in Bukhari. No, I enlarge it, I enlarge it if you can't see. Okay. Oh, okay, if you can read it, that's fine. The corrupted word means the actual and change the meaning. Yes. Read it all. Thank you. They interpreted the words wrongly. Not that they changed it. Not that they changed it. Look, you see? They corrupt the word means and they the meaning. listen. It means they change the meaning. Yet no one is able to change even a single word from change any. Change the meaning means look, corrupted. Listen to what it says. It says no one. Yet no one is able to change even a single word from any any book of God. The meanings is that they interpret the words wrongly. Uh, okay. Not that wait, they wait, 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 wait. So to change it, where is the original language? What was the original language? Yeah, the language spoke. This book. What was it? What was it? In, so you believe that Injil no. was in Aramaic originally? No. What, what language spoke? He was spoken Aramaic. Prove it in the Bible. What's this? Well, I'm talking about the. I want I'm to know. Talk, listen, to, listen to what I'm saying. Prove it. I'm saying that, that 
from the Islamic point, forget about the Christian point of view. I'm saying when Ali is talking to the Christians, the real Christians and the real Jews, what the angel was in what language? What language did he spoke? I'm asking you from the Islamic perspective. Bible what is it? We've got everything. We've got everything. Aramaic. Okay, so if you spoke Aramaic, Injil is a Greek word. So you what? What verse? He spoke Arabic. So you have a verse where he said Eli, Eli, Sabbath, Lamb, Sabbath. Whatever, he spoke Arabic, yeah. Yeah, that, that's Aramaic. Yeah, show me what verse is it. somewhere in the Bible. <laughs> this guy. When, well, Jesus, show me. when Jesus said Eli, Eli. Show me, man. Yeah. Is that in English? Yeah, that was not, that's in the Bible, not in English. Show me. Do, if, show I show me. You, if, if I show you, what will you do? Huh? If I show you, what will you do? Show me, then you speak the truth. Huh? Did he speak the truth? So, so you no, agree that, that he spoke in Arabic? Show me what language he spoke in. Wait, wait, wait. So, I don't know, okay. I'm, I'm what language do you think? He Before spoke, I show you, what the language do you think? The Bible says, the Bible says two languages. Spoke. What's that? Yeah? What's that? Hebrew and Aramaic. Which language will you speak to? So which, uh, I'm asking you, okay, as a Muslim, Muslim what no, language Bible. was the Injil revealed in? No, no, I'm asking from the Bible. No, no, I want... What Islam, language? Language? Wait, Christianity, what language? Christianity, Christianity is apparently corrupted. So from the no, truth, no, from wait, the mouth of Allah, question. what language was the, the Injil revealed in? That's all. How, why are you asking me? The, you said the Bible is corrupted. What language is spoken according to the Bible? Why do you want to Yeah, what's the Injil? It's a book! Where is the Islamic Injil? your Bible. In what language? Yes. In what language? Yes. I'm, what do you mean yes? yes. I'm asking you what, what language? language? Read the Bible. Show me the proof. From, yeah, show, I'm it's saying, your Bible actually. Show me from your proof. Listen. From your own Bible. You're, I'm saying to you. It's a Hebrew. I'm learning about Islam. Islam. From Jesus' language. What is what? What, what, what language? What language, language is okay, it? Okay, it's Greek. If I say it's Greek, what do you say? No, prove it, it to me. No, 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 prove it to me. The Bibles are in Greek. That's the proof. No, what language is spoken in the Bible? Yeah, Greek. That's why it's written in Greek. Greek, show me. I'll show you, do you mean to tell no, you? Just no, no, just show me that, that according to the, the Bible, that Jesus spoke Greek. So you want me to find the verse yes. that said, okay, show me in the Quran where it says Muhammad spoke Arabic. He spoke Arabic? Give yes. me, no, no, is show me right? the verse where it says yeah, Muhammad. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 I said, sh you said, it show does, me the... It does, it does. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Okay, it, it says... It's not exactly, but in, 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 no, in different uh, ways. I said, both. <laughs> no, not in a different <laughs> way. Not in a different way. He said, but show me where the Bible says... Quran was read in Arabic. No, I don't... It doesn't matter if it's read in Arabic. I'm saying to you... The Quran was read in Arabic. So why, why, I'm not saying... What do you ask me that? I'm not asking that. Yeah, but that's the kind of word that he is. That's the strong man. It says, show me where it says Arabic. Show me... Show me where it says Muhammad spoke Arabic. No, 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 because I'm saying <laughs> he's, he's making some funny arguments. He's, Quran, I, he said, Quran, I said, Quran, I said, it was, I said what language Arabic, was it? Arabic, did you just speak? It's a normal question. He's saying, prove it. Prove what I'm asking you. What language was because Aramaic, the Quran? Aramaic. As far as I know, I think Aramaic. So why is he saying prove it? I'm it's asking you because it's your Bible. You need yeah, but it's your Quran. So your Quran tells us the truth, innit? Because you believe the Bible's corrupted. Yeah, so if I'm going to the person of the truth, you can tell me what language. The original was revealed in. No mistake, in Aramaic. That's what I, I know. Aramaic. So then, if it was revealed in Aramaic, because the Quran says we sent a messenger to each of the nations uh, to speak in their language. So why is the why is Allah given um, Jesus a Greek book? Injil is a Greek word from a Greek word. What language spoke? Come on, Injil. It's from the Greek word. In Jew, what language original, did you spoke? The, 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 the word in Jew is from the Greek. Because you have a in Greek you have Evangelion, which means the good news. Your gospels in English. So in Jew is taken from Evangelion. In Jew is not the Aramaic. Language. It's a Greek word. No, it's, it's like, not the Aramaic language. No. I have I'm no I am no knowledgeable about that. But well that's it doesn't make sense that Allah sent Jesus to speak to the Israelites in uh, Aramaic, but then he gave him a Greek book because you say Jesus spoke in Greek. So why is he giving him a Greek think, book? You think Jesus speak Aramaic or what? what's from your perspective? Well, Jesus could speak Greek, Aramaic, and, and Hebrew. And which land was Jesus revealed? Uh, well, he would have spoken in, in all, like, depending on who he speaks to. The Bible, the original Bible, and in which land? So do you believe the Bible is corrupted? No, no, I'm asking you, in which language the original Bible? The, the original, the Bible, the New Testament, the Injil, was written in Greek, straight away. 
original land that just the just Jesus spoke. Which land Jesus spoke? He would have spoken. And which land which they, they wrote it was it down? Written, yeah, it was written in Greek. That's the only one you have. Greek. That's it. No Aramaic. No. We have a later Aramaic one called the Peshitta. So you have one Aramaic, one Greek? Or oh, translation, yeah. They translated from Aramaic to Greek or the Greek to Aramaic? Greek to Aramaic. Greek to Aramaic, yeah. But Jesus spoke Aramaic. But they could write in Greek. Because at the time, like, uh, Greek was like English now. So you, wherever you're from, you might speak your language. Sometimes you might speak to your parents. In your language, yeah. but I can write it down in English because the book was for everyone. This is from around Palestine and Syria. Where okay. were the Greek around there? That was, that was the language at the time. There was a Greek. There was a Aramaic and Hebrew language. No, because you, you had the Roman Empire. I don't because know. it's part of the Roman Empire. So therefore, if you because if you're saying to me from Islamic perspective, yes. he was Aramaic. Okay. The NG is the, a Greek word. The, the book that can give you a gift to Jesus yeah. was an Aramaic. But the name or, is or a Hebrew. There's two two languages very okay. similar to So one. if he spoke Hebrew or Aramaic, yeah. why is Allah giving him a book in Greek? Because no, Injil no, no, is, no, 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 no. is a Greek like from a Greek word. It's a Greek. I don't know about Because what do you speak Arabic? Huh? You speak Arabic. No. Okay. Because you have in Hebrew Aramaic. Um, Bushara, which is the Hebrew or Aramaic for good news, and in Arabic it's Bushra, right? But then Alice, he, he didn't give uh, Jesus the Bushra, he gave him the Injil, which is a Greek there's one. There's more, more Muslim who know about that. Yeah, but as a Muslim, these are things you should consider. How is it logical? From what I know, yes. Jesus was Aramaic, okay, and the book being given to him has to be in his language. So why is no why is the Injil a Greek word? Oh, I I don't know about that. That's why because I need to I need to I need to research it. I yeah, know. I mean as a Muslim, I would say to you think very deeply about how you yeah, I have, Aramaic. I have, I have, I have. have you always been Muslim? Uh, huh? Yeah, I was. Okay, so what like, attracts you to Islam? Like, what makes you think Muhammad is a prophet? Well, I make misbelief. I'm not, I'm not a scholar, but if I was to read it, I'd read it. Like, this Islam is make sense. And what? Why does it make sense? It's logic. There's a change of the reason. From Islamic teaching, like the you have, you have uh, morality is one of the main reasons. And you have from Mor beginning to end, there's a prophet, there's a seal of the prophet. Okay. That's but, what you get from But morality, Islam. the Quran says you can beat your wife. Do you believe that? Right. No, it doesn't say that. It does say that. No. Do you want me to check it the verse? No. Because is it right? It doesn't say that. It does. Do you want me to show it? The problem is I have to go ahead and explain to you half an hour and then go around by... Right, shall, I, shall I show you the... Because I can show you the tafsir that shows the verse was revealed when someone beat their wife. If I say beat that guy but don't leave that mark, any mark, that beat him. Shall I show you how the verse was revealed? Because it says you can beat your wife. If I say, if I say can you beat me brother, but don't leave an, even a mark there. That's not what it says. Okay, let's go to the next. That's morality. Okay. Okay. If it says you're, you can rape your wife, is that moral? No, it doesn't say Because it says your, your wife is like a tilth. No, and no. you can enter her in any way you please. No, no, no. Shall we look at the verse? And whenever you want. Shall we look? Well, which verse? But okay. Quran. Yeah. Oh, that's not it. You just said you, you can't say beat your wife, but I tell you it doesn't. Now you go to No, I can show you the verse. But I think marital rape is worse than slap, like beating your wife. Marital rape? Like you can rape your wife? No. Shall I show you the verse? Just show me the verse. But give me the. I need to read it my language as well. Because my language is. More. Which verse? Let me just get it. So this is uh, two, uh, two, two, three. Uh, yeah, two, 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 three, two hundred and twenty-three. So it says, your wives are as a tilth unto you. So approach your tilth when or however you will but do some good acts for your souls beforehand and fear Allah and know that ye are to meet him and those 
in the hereafter and give these good tidings to those who believe. So clearly it's saying you can go approach your wife as a till when or how you will. So your wife cannot reject you. And if you she rejects you and there's no punishment for you. So okay, what is your understanding of it? The understanding is a as a husband and wife, yes. You have a right to her and she have a right to you. Why does it say she has a right? No, that's the, that's the, that's the, I mean, because you're reading in English. Yeah, so I'm asking as you to explain. That's the thing. As a, as a man tells you, you have your right over your uh, uh, wife, like you, you have your right. Now, if she, if she wants to reject you, she wants to divorce you, she can. She can't reject you? She can. She, of course she can. You cannot rape her. She's your wife. You can have because your enjoying, you can have your sex or whatever. Because but you cannot say... No, that's what it, that's what no, it says. No, it says you can go to your wife. It doesn't say, that, it doesn't no, say no, wife. I, I, you, can, I, I, you see? Because it doesn't say wife. You can go, it, says, it doesn't say wife. You can go to your husband anyway. It says husband. Please, please, please. So it says wife, the man can go to his wife anyway. It doesn't say the woman can go to her husband anyway. Okay. And then it also says that if the wife does not sleep with the husband, the angels will curse her. No, no, no. That's if what it she, says. If she have a reason to refuse, she can. Can you show me in the Quran? A hundred percent. Read me the, yeah, read me the no, line no, no. that says it. No, no. That's, yeah, I, read, I just, I just... Uh, it doesn't say because that. Because what you say in there, what I read here is totally different, to be honest. Yeah, you have the English there. No, oh, no, is that... Oh, that's not the English. No, 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 okay. that's my language. Okay. Yeah, so read me the bit where it says the wife it's has... It's like, it's like the way it's been here, I cannot, to be honest, I have a limited understanding of my... Okay. And uh, I know, I'm not fully knowledgeable, but uh, I have a very limited understanding on... Uh, okay. Things like this. Okay. You know? Let me... But uh, I just let me, try to okay. answer it, the question. If that's I cannot... Fine. There's a lot of good brother around here. Yeah, he yeah, can yeah. answer your question. Do you, do you accept Hadith? Hadith, yes. Do you believe stones can talk? I believe in miracles. So you believe, so I believe in miracles. So if I showed your prophet spoke to stones and no one else saw it, would you think that's... If I tell you that Jesus walked on the water and uh, healed these people in the grave, would you believe that? But if you said it's to me... the same thing. No, but listen, to, if you said to me Jesus did that and there was witnesses, I'd say, okay. Yeah. If, you, if I uh, tell you your prophet used to talk to stones and no one else saw this stone talking, would you believe, think that's like reasonable? If I believe he's a prophet, then anything else can be... I don't need to think twice, you know? So you, if I believe he's a prophet, then everything else is come with it, that's it. So, so that's the main point. Right? So, and if I show you, like, m monkeys can stone like monkeys, that people saw monkeys stoning yeah. other monkeys, would you really, like, think that's, like, yeah, passion? What do you mean, monkeys? Like monkeys stoning other monkeys, like a Sahaba saw a monkey stoning another monkey. You don't see in uh, everyday monkey does that? <laughs> Yeah, shall, shall I take you to the zoo? We'll go in there. Yeah, no, we'll go in there. The monkey is smart. What are you talking about? No. If he was another animal, I would say no. But monkey does not a thing, bro. Okay. Um, well, we monkey can... are very smart, man. But monkeys stone and none of monkey for adultery. <laughs> I, if it does a hadith. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Sahih. Sahih. I Bukhari. don't know about that. I never heard of that. Yeah. I don't have a hell of that, I don't know. Do you want me to read it? Yeah. No, no, that's no... Okay. I wouldn't what? say that's a what? sahih what hadith. Is okay. that sahih? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bukhari. Is that sahih? Yeah, yeah, sahih. sahih. I don't know about okay. that, but I don't believe it's a sahih. Shall I show it to you? The sahaba say, you say, yeah, yeah. the companion say, yeah, yeah. monkey, he's <laughs> done another monkey. Oh, no, no, know. that's not sahih. Show, show yeah, you, okay, I'll show you. Okay, I'll show you this one last one. But what, what's your, why, why you don't have, why you have a problem with the miracle and all? Well, I don't think this is, um, yeah, I don't believe this is true. I believe it's true. Can I ask you one question? One? Can I ask you one question? Earlier I asked another Christian look. question. There, there we see, look. The stoning of she monkey. Oh, okay. 
So, so it says, during the pre-Islamic period of ignorance, I saw a she-monkey surrounded by a number of monkeys. They were all stoning it because it had committed illegal sexual intercourse. I too stoned it along with them. So if you were there, you would stone it too. And this one is Bukhari. You know, usually hadiths have narration, you know, we can... I yeah, look, yeah, because it's Bukhari. Look, Bukhari. So it's Bukhari. Yeah, but Bukhari. B anybody, remember, it's Sahih Bukhari. Anybody, All of it's Sahih. Anybody can bring up yeah, but this is, say it's a this Bukhari. Is Bukhari. How can you know it's a Bukhari? Yeah, all Bukhari. Know, like, all, this is your Muslim website. If it was a Bukhari book, I wouldn't. Yeah, but go it's there. But, but it's all online. online. I'm not going to bring. I'm not going to bring a, a Sahari book. Online thing. There's a lot of dodgy thing online. Though. No, this is like Muslim. Why? Why? You're Christian, yeah? Yeah, yeah. You're Christian. Yeah. Okay. okay one, last, you believe, uh, one last. One last thing. Let me ask you. One, ask one last question. I ask you. Okay. Oh, do you believe the Bible is the word of God 100% right? I believe it's the inspired word of God, yes. 100%. Yes. And because this is what the people used to believe. So if there was no Islam, no one in the entire world ever said this book is corrupted, there's problems with this. Only Muslims later, even at, during the time of your prophet, he never said the, the scriptures was corrupted. It's only modern day Muslims that now say the book is corrupted. But never, no one ever ever said once this book is corrupted. So why is it the people at the time said it was corrupted, but later on... Corrupted, you don't need to be Muslim to say it's corrupted. I think... And I'm if I am correctly remember in one chapter say 300 and another chapter say 700 something like this I read it you know so there is you agree there is something like this in the Bible yeah? in terms of there's some birth there, taking there, off yeah, uh, no, yeah. no there's variants yeah. for example because it was written by men it wasn't dictated word like the word by word from God so men the prophets were writing down their experiences no. and sometimes yes like human maybe the way it's been copied sometimes there's small variants but it's nothing like it contradicts the belief in god or just like the, the major stories in the bible so we can know what happened okay. and historically okay, okay. so no. do you do you have like can you take uh, the bible as your uh, uh, law, just like for Christian law, like a Sharia law. Do you understand? Uh, there's no, there's no like. Um, you don't we have guidance that. in terms of how we should live. Even a basic rules. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like basic rules. Like, yeah, they uh, shall not steal, kill. Um, uh, so what happens like if someone kills? Well, then you on judgment day you could potentially go to hell. But then for this life, for temporary life, you have yeah. no rule, but you honest. Well, you and the yeah, question but is, but the, that's the I thing. So for them. example, you, you can never ever be without secular rule. You, host, you always have to abide the other people's rule. Well, the Bible says that we should abide by the laws of the government unless it contradicts the laws, like the teachings of the Bible. So obviously if people start saying kill people, that will contradict the law that was in the Bible. So we, we're, we're allowed to follow the government, the rules of the government, as long as it doesn't contradict what we're taught to practice in the Christian faith. Understand? So we can live as within society, because like, you know, crossing the road, stopping at red lights, that's not... Uh, yeah, I'm talking about the major roads. Like. Yeah, but it depends, like paying taxes, yes, we should be paying taxes and whatnot. But if maybe they introduced a rule, but yeah. The, the question here is, if the Bible is 100% word of God, yes, and, then, and doesn't give you even major rules, like someone kills you, what is the what is the punishment? Well, the, 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 it's not, the, yeah, but the, because of, because we abide by the laws of where we live. Let's say, for example, we live in a place where you could kill people, right? So then, as a Christian, how would I seek retribution for someone that maybe like like killed my brother? Yeah. If there was no retribution, the retribution would come in the the, the afterlife because God says He will avenge. Yeah, He will judge people. Okay, he, so judge, 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 the God says vengeance is mine. Yeah. You understand? So, so the question so. is, even this country where come to say here is the key and you let this country tomorrow, you cannot because you don't have a complete system to do so. Yeah, if, if we had all Christians on an island, 
we will live by the Bible and what is morally right. What, so we will say, you know, you can't steal, you can't think, and you can form a no, government. What happens if people do? Yeah, you can you form. You no can. Yeah, but no, you can form a government. Yeah. How? Like, yes, we're, we're allowed to do that. So we can f form a political party that says, if you do this, you can go to prison. But it's not like, a, it's not a theocracy. So you're going to use your... Because God gives us wisdom. For example, God says, love others as you, do unto others as you do to yourself. So if we, you're a Christian in a country and let's say I, you slap me, I, we could make a law that says, well, you get, can get, I don't know, uh, a fine for slapping someone or something like that. There's, but there's no, it's not a, like a divine law, like in terms of Sharia law, where you have to kind of do maybe wudu or like, you know, uh, wash your nose because Satan will be in your, your nose overnight, abolition or whatever. But you know, that, that, that is the, yeah, but the thing Christi is, wait, the let me just finish my point. If I, if I want let, to convince by the book of God, because Christianity, to, because Christianity can evolve with society. For example, like in Islamic Sharia law, you can cut someone's hand off for stealing. That's going to cause social problems down the line. To Christianity, that's like seventh century rules. We don't live like that anymore. So Christianity allows you to logically progress with society. Yes, there are like the Ten Commandments that we still have to obey, do not steal, do not kill, and so forth. But we can progress with society and the church has the authority to kind of dictate to the congregation how to live a moral and peaceful I life. I mean, it's no Christianity allow you or don't allow you. You have to go by the secular. Yeah. System. As long as Otherwise, as long as you, you will be stuck in a yeah. very small because you you don't have a complete system within your Bible. So well, you always have to abide yeah. by other people. Yeah, but I'm saying if so, we if we took Christians and put them on a desert island, the Christians can form their but own. Even government. there, you have to make your own opinion. Yeah, but then we will we will do and it according to what was in Scripture and what is right. The major role, you don't, you don't have an even major role. So, so would you? That's like one of one of, one of the thing I, I I say because Jesus came for a particular time. He yeah, didn't come with a complete system. No. In so, are you telling me being able to cut someone's hand off, or if someone a Jew becomes a Muslim? and then apostatize that you cut their head off. Is that, for you, a good system? What do you mean, Jew become Muslim? Because there's, uh, in the Hadith, it says, if a Jew becomes a Muslim, converts to Islam, and becomes an apostate, you can cut their head off. Do you want me to show you the Hadith? Is it on part It's no part Okay. Yeah, but in Islam, you can, um, like, apostates can be killed. I, my knowledge is limited, okay. but I don't okay. think that's... Let's, let's, let's that's stick to what you know. Yeah. People's hands can be cut off. Yes. yes. So now, is that for you right to do? If there is a reason behind it, not. Like he's poor, okay. he could be Even if there's no reason he's behind He's disabled, it. whatever he is. Okay. Even if he's not reason behind it. Okay. I come from a country when the government is corrupted. Yeah. They're stealing money from people. Yeah. And I know that wouldn't it be people to like to these prison? deserve to be. But wouldn't it be but prison to doesn't help, brother. How many people are in this prison? But prison what? is full of people. In They're gonna learn more stealing, more drugs, more criminal. They coming out with more experience. So then there's no solution. So, so then, if you cut someone's hand off, they can't get a job again. Huh? They can't. Can they get a job? That's the thing. If he was poor, if he was needed. You will never be cut. Yeah, but let's just say sometimes when you're young, you do stupid things. So this person, that is, is even young. he's a young, I, will, I, yeah, I but don't I'm, believe he. Is. Yeah, but when no. you were young, you probably did stuff you don't do now. As yeah, a man. yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's what I'm saying. Sometimes people do stupid stuff about things. So if you cut this pan, man's hand up for the rest of his life, so he's limited for the rest of his life. What, what's the, what is, how's that going to benefit society? If he, if he was young and he, he wasn't fully aware what he was doing, I don't believe he shouldn't be catching that. Okay. But if he was a fully grown man okay. and there was a job okay. and he take your money, which yeah. you work 50 years for, 10 years for, okay. I believe he should be catching that. All right. So yeah. let me ask you one more thing. A woman's, two women's testimony is equal to one man under Sharia law. Well, i tell you another thing. Ten man testimony is equal to one woman testimony in different places. Do you know that? Under Sharia though, it's not. Yeah, yeah. If, if a mother 
doesn't give milk to his baby, her baby. Okay. And they bring a witnesses. Now here is ten man versus one woman. Okay. So you see, Chami we have. Chami in the I mean, is in the hadith, but so you're Allah, saying, I don't get you're saying when something to do with a baby, you need so ten for men. example, if the baby, there's the issue with the baby. Okay. All right. And the government will face the woman. Let, 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 let's just stick with the t in general, yeah. two women's yeah. testimony is equal to sorry, yeah, it's equal to one man. And one angle, and another angle, one woman testimony against ten men. So if one woman say, All right, show me that. The, Show me that one because I, I don't I believe cannot it's true. get you right now, but I will hundred percent show you. Okay, okay. let's stick us. Let's stick to the one that we do know. Okay. Two two women's testimony is equal to one man. Yeah. Is this right in 2019 that we even know women generally do better than men in education? Yes, that's quite intelligent. So why should it's not about education? Yeah, but why should two women's testimony be equal to one man? What is like? I don't. I just the told you there's other place. One woman testimony. Yeah, but you can't prove that. So let's talk about this one. I have no. But I, I can. I can prove that next time. Yeah, yeah that's why. That's why I said let's talk about this one. Uh, this one, I think there's. I I haven't. Probably she forgot, or woman woman wish they are more. Uh, afraid than man, you know. If I, if I come up to you and say, oh, say it. So you're, you're you know, like that's very sexist, and I think no, 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 like, you're gonna have a lot of women chasing you when you no, go no, no, no. saying, <laughs> you know, no, no, about that. It's, if there's a gunfire going on, huh? yes. the woman will be like, oh, yeah, man. Say, but in it? today's, there's men like that as well. Yeah. <laughs> No, I'm just in general. I don't know the exact answer, yes. but what, why? So don't you think it's better for the society to make a rule that's fair to both the men and the women? Yeah, it is fair, it is fair. Because maybe, that, let's just for argument's sake, say in the 7th century, that was uh, relevant. But 2019, that's not relevant anymore. But now you're still forcing women, two women to be equal to one. Oh no, no, it's not just that. It's, uh, it's not, it's not just that, I just show you because I don't have a yeah, we only work hadith with me yeah. now. You only work, I'm sure with the Christianity money is also like that. For example, it says woman no allowed to speak in a church, so it's always it's different than the Christianity as well. That man is head of the woman in yeah, Christianity, man, and man should be the head of the woman. And it says to treat, treat, yeah, head of the house, but it says treat your. Your your wife as you would treat yourself. Love your wife as you would love yourself. You know. She, but when she, in the Quran, not allowed to but, speak on the chair. No, but that's just talking she, about order. Because remember, I showed you in the Quran, you can beat your wife. That's very no, different. No, no. <laughs> I told you that's not. <laughs> that's I you. told you that. <laughs> yeah, I, I can show you the verse. That was your goal. <laughs> so, yeah. English translation. Okay. It's good to understand it, but it doesn't give you. And the, for example, I don't speak Arabic. So, so where? Okay, I don't where, speak where, Arabic as okay, well. Okay, that's the point. Now you read your verse in your language, yes? Yeah. And you said it doesn't say that. But well, you should be reading the Arabic to understand what it says, not in your with, language. With, how with, do you know? with my language, yes. you can bring the meaning. Are you sure? Yes. How do you know? <laughs> according to who? Say, according to w w my language is exactly the same as Arabic language. How do you know if you can't read the Arabic? Who told you because that? Because where, where, where we have a ulama, we have a language same, culture is same. So not exactly 100%. Okay. But you can get it 100 times better than English language. But this so one, you could be wrong now. I can't. Exactly. So you need to learn the Arabic? Not 100%. Not 100% you can bring everything. You can't do Therefore that. Therefore you need to learn the Arabic. So, yeah, exactly. So, uh, yeah, but, Islam is basically but, a religion but is, that is you can't is know a, unless you know the Arabic. Is a, is a, is much better than English language. With English language, is, I, I try to. The word is different meaning. But right, again, so anyway, my brother, I need to go. <laughs> All, right, All right, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, well, <laughs> that's quite a funny conversation. But um, I mean, obviously, as we can see with Christianity, Christianity allows a community to grow with the times to kind of take the teachings of Christ and apply that to society so we have a fair and just society whereas Islam seems to keep you in the 7th century and it, you know this is not what I think is a logical religion because 
you know, God allows us to develop our society in accordance with what is right. Because that's why, for example, certain things that people thought were okay at the time, you know, Christians have now erased and been at the forefront, given, especially given women equality at the time. You know, there's none of this two women's witness te testimonies equal to man. We have equality in that sense. So I don't think uh, you can put Islam on the same sense, but that's just how God created things from Adam and Eve, that he wanted men to have be the head of the household, but it doesn't mean you subdue the wife because we see many hadiths where Aisha said the believing woman seems to be treated very badly you know you can beat your wife or you know the men can have four wives but the woman can only have one husband there's no equality in that sense um, you know so I think we can see that the teaching of Christ is what something that can evolve with society and that was in God's knowledge that he knew Christianity is a faith that can continue to grow with society and change hearts so Islam it seems to keep women especially in this kind of position where you can basically you know um, marital rape is technically allowed you can beat your wife uh, Aisha even made this hadith where Aisha kind of complained about the believing woman treated lower than most people so this is kind of what we see the difference between Christianity and Islam that Christianity gives women more equality than Islam Big up COE. Big up COE. Like people, like Second best channel, on, uh, on best channel on YouTube. 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 Best channel on YouTube.